hey, welcome back to the Moose Shop. I got a pretty good trick for you today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this cube, or this block, uh, into an octagon block. Um, and it's fairly simple. So what you do is... Um, oh, shit. I'm filming here. I got, I got oh, your okay, cool. inserts you asked for. Those are for the, the Celtic knot I'm going to make. Oh. Celtic knot. No, no, it's Celtic. No, no, Celtic. Look it up. No, you look it up. It's Celtic. It's Celtic. God, but anyways. All right, so <laughs> So what you do, and what we're gonna do is after it becomes a, an octagon, is I'm gonna make a Celtic knot pepper grinder, like I did the rolling pins with four Celtic knots. This is gonna end up being eight. So it should be kind of interesting. But so the way that you do this is you raise the blade up to 45. Make sure your table's unplugged. No power. And you lean the, the block uh, up against the blade. Nice and flush. Flush to the table. And then you slide your fence over to catch this edge. And just kiss it so that it's right in. It just on. Just so it doesn't move anything. Everything remains... Up against the blade and up against the, the the table top and then afterwards you lower it down and cut up all your corners off and then it ends up being as perfect as you can an octagon and then like I said what we'll do with that is we'll insert all these um, the inserts and make a pepper grinder should be awesome all right so let me get this all set up and uh, I'll show you how I run this through. Okay, so a couple things you gotta remember before you try this out. First of all, you need to have a square block. So mine is two and a half by two and a half. Double check to make sure this is 45 degrees. And then lower the blade and it should be ready to go. Okay, so I got my jig here that is set up so that it's 30 degrees to the blade. And what I would suggest doing is um, numbering all your sides, especially if you're doing more than one color. I'm going to end up doing three. And the, I'm going to do this the way that I did it in my other video, which will be just leave it about 3 16 shy of cutting all the way through this so that way there this stays in intact and all you have to do is really just slide the the uh, pieces in so let's start at number one just going to glue both sides and then slide it on in here nice nice snugly fit and uh, let it dry for a little bit and move on Okay, so it's been sitting for about 20 minutes, and I'm going to clip these ends off, and then we'll take it to the sander. Alright, make sure number two is down, and you're all cleaned out here. Well, you got to do this... That process there, just only seven more times.
Okay, so we got all eight sides cut. Um, so before we take it over to the lathe, I want to recap on make sure that you keep track of where you're at and, ma and make also make sure that you run some nice smooth cuts all the way through. Before you get this all set up, give, get, make yourself a test piece and get your inserts um, to fit in. I, what I did is I ran the blade here and I tested my inserts and they fit nice, just nice and snug. And that's what you want. You want to make sure that you take, put in as much as you take out. That was what will make these Celtic knots line up perfectly at the intersections. So let's get this over to the lathe and see how it turned out. <laughs> Looking good. Okay, we've got it all smoothed out into a cylinder and marked up. Um, I'm going to whip through this because I have a video out there and I'll link it to this video on how to make a, um, a pepper grinder. So we'll put a finish on it and we'll see how these Celtic knots turned out. And they, they look really, really good. It'll be nice how the way they're going to pop with a finish on them. Okay, so I'm going to go with that for the base, it's kind of simple, because there's eight Celtic knots in there, so keep it simple. I'm going to do some sanding, put a finish on it. It's all ready for the OB Shine Juice. Cool. Put a bunch of coats of this on and then we'll work on the top.
Okay, so all glued up and working. And these crush grind mechanisms really work good. I like them a lot. I'll put a link below for those. Now this wasn't all about uh, making a pepper grinder. I have a video on that already and I'll put a link below for that also. This was more about making the Celtic knots and the octagon. Um, I think it, it just really turned out really cool. Matter of fact, I made two of them. And this one is the short version. They have two sizes, crush grind, have two sizes. And check this out, I'll get a close up of this. The Celtic knot um, at the bottom and the top sort of just spread out. So this was an eight ring Celtic knot. Um, yeah. <laughs> that, that, I'm pretty pretty happy with them. Um, so, I want to thanks for watching. Hope you liked it, and I'll see you soon. Yeah, yeah, pretty nice. Hey, what are you guys doing? Yeah. yeah. Don't start. Don't looking? start. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah, they turned out really good. Really nice. Nice Celtic notch you got What's there. That? What'd you say? It's Celtic. It's Celtic.